I really want to talk about the real reason women distrust men when they hear the guy saying, I'm such a nice guy. I stumbled upon a whole Reddit thread called Nice Guy Stories. I'll go ahead and read this story to you. I had just broken things off with my boyfriend and was just a mess. A guy in the same department as me started to show an interest in me. We talked after class a few times and we went out for coffee. He seemed sweet and shortly after we started dating. I started to notice some red flags after about the second month. He began to spend every night at my house and was probably the cause of my roommate's psychotic break, my new nice guy boyfriend was constantly near me. Just because they like you and wanna be in a relationship with you does not mean that they need or want you around all the time. And a lot of guys take offense to that. She says, he hated me spending time with my friends, loathed me going to parties or even to study groups. He would continuously rope me into playing the sexy NPCs in his Dungeon and Dragons get campaigns, among other things. We moved in together and he manipulated and gaslit me for a year by using his nice gestures against me. Eventually, he did end up getting arrested for something he did to me. In summary, do not date the nice guy. If a guy is genuinely nice, go for it, but if it's a nice guy situation, run. She too wanted to date a nice guy, and then as things progress, she starts to realize there's these behaviors that are coming out that start to show his real nature. And the real nature of what he was doing is that he was not being all that nice. But if you were to ask this guy probably what happened, he would say, well, I was a nice guy and girls just don't appreciate me. And then she, she ended up dumping me because she couldn't handle my niceness. And so that's why it didn't work out. This is the fear that women have when you try to act like and or say that you're a nice guy. Their thought doesn't go to, oh, he's saying he's nice, therefore he must be nice and kind. Her first thought, and most women's first thoughts are going to be, what is this guy hiding? This guy is too nice. He's trying to give me too much too soon. He's always texting me and he's always saying how much he likes me and how pretty I am and he's always doing these nice things. When is the other shoe gonna drop? And as a guy listening to this, you might think that's asinine, that makes no sense. But take yourself out of the experience for a second. Let's bring the women, the hundreds if not thousands of women into the situation whereby they dated a guy that they thought was gonna be really, really nice and then after he's gained her trust a little bit, boom, he switches. He starts beating them. He starts cheating on them. He starts stealing money from them. He starts trying to uh, turn her friends against them. This is an experience that women globally have and it's oftentimes with a guy that started out saying he was a nice guy. Now, the opposite of that is women dating jerks and bad boys. And you might think to yourself, why would they be more apt to like date a bad boy versus a alleged nice guy? A woman will see a bad guy and hear stories about he's been cheating on people, he's been this and that, but there is already evidence out there of the kind of bad he is. So for better or worse, as dumb as it sounds, a woman's going to be more apt to get into a situation where at least she knows what she's getting into versus a situation where she's not sure of the level of meanness that could possibly be there. This is not to say that you need to be a mean person, a jerk, an a-hole, whatever. But what it does mean is that you need to, if nothing else, stop advertising yourself as a nice guy. All she feels and fears when he, she hears you saying that you're a nice guy is, He's not that nice, he's hiding something, and he's thinking too much of himself in this moment. We are ultimately all the heroes in our own story. You may have behaviors that you are not aware are actually toxic behaviors to women because you're thinking to yourself, I'm a nice guy, I would never do anything wrong intentionally. Just because you're doing actions and you don't have an intention of being mean or not being nice doesn't mean that those actions aren't. And so if you have people in your life that have complained about or even women that you've dated before that have complained about you saying certain kinds of things, certain kinds of jokes, doing certain kinds of behaviors, trying to hold her back from her friends, etc. That is valuable feedback to be able to change. You gotta really look at yourself and look at the fact that even though you think you're a nice guy, what potential toxic behaviors do you have that women are not going to appreciate and then work on those. It's not a bad thing to say, hey, you respect women, or it's a bad thing to say, you know, that you really appreciate when you have a girlfriend and that you try to treat women well, but to specifically say to women that you yourself are a nice guy, you would be surprised at the number of women that you were chasing away in part because their experiences with guys that call themselves nice guys is not as positive as you think that it might be.